Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about working and purpose of using three-phase electric wheel in a three-phase electric system. Basically, for small-scale industry and some residential application and some hospitals, etc. The three-phase supply is given as three-phase four-wire system that consists of R, Y, B and neutral. The voltage between any of the phase and neutral is 230 volt and between any of the two phases is 415 to 440 volt. For a three phase system, the phase collector switches are the most necessary equipment but the problem is that most of us are not aware about the proper way of handling them. Mostly for three phase supply, we will be using 63 amp single pole three way collector switches that consist of four terminals, three input terminals and one output terminal. In this wiring diagram, you can see that all the three switches have been connected to this three phase supply via the incoming terminal A1, A2 and A3. And each switch has one outgoing terminal for each phase. The outgoing terminal connects the load by means of sub circuit. The rest of you know the earth and neutral links. We can connect the indicator lamp for each phase across from outgoing terminal and neutral. Indicator lamp helps us to know about the status of power supply. Let's see the connection practically. As you can see here, all the three phases were connected to the rotary switcher. The outgoing ends were connected to load and indicator. The selector switcher gives a helping hand whenever any one of the phase goes off due to uneven loads or if there is any loose connection or open circuit inside the service cable etc. But we have to perform this changeover action manually whenever we observe the tremendous voltage drop or complete disconnection of any one of the phase. As a temporary solution, we can change the load to the next phase, but overloading should be avoided. When the faulty phase gets recovered, then the switch should be kept back to its original position. In case if we don't change the switch back to its original position, then the particular phase will be overloaded. Before changing over the switch to the next phase, we have to ensure that whether the isolator went open, a fuse might be blown off. If everything was ok then, there will be some problems on distribution line. Until the time of recovery, the phase selector switch can be used for temporarily powering up the load of the faulty phase. Hope this video will be helpful for everyone. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.